Welcome to Final Fantasy V. Hopefully I have accidentally loaded randomizer. We will now begin <clears throat> our journey. Butter. <laughs> what a good name. This was Dancer, Summoner. This had to have been like a casual. Really not sure. <laughs> Who knows what this was? Well, their name is Butter. Uh, where's the go button? Now we wait for four minutes. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Final Fantasy V, the Super Famicom. As the eighth game, I don't know, in the Final Fantasy Extravaganza. How many games have we gone through? Uh, I think it's three extra, and this is five. It's like game seven or eight. In the extravaganza. I have not played the base game of this in a long while. Actually, it was probably not that long ago. Because for the last Fiesta I did, I just played, um, randomizers. I didn't actually play the base version of Final Fantasy V. So it was actually probably about a year ago. I remember doing the uh, four job fiesta one year, but I think that was two years ago. I've played a lot of randomizer for this game, but the actual story mode uh, I don't remember much. At the very least, I know where all the chests are and the items are. I'm going to be surprised by random encounters. I have to start doing random encounters. Yo. Thanks, Seawalker. Welcome. Final Fantasy V. I went to go pick up my controller, fully knowing that I don't need it for like another minute, half or two or something. I like this guy. Look at this smug guy right here. <laughs> the wind stopped. There's a lot of event triggers. But I have no idea how to trigger things. I think you, like there's one part where you have to like talk to somebody in town to find out about the dragon <laughs> to go to Mount Tycoon. I never played Seventh Saga, so I'm actually very unfamiliar with a lot of the SNES library. I used to watch, I think it was PJ ran Seventh Saga. He would do like challenge runs. I watched him a bunch, I guess, kind of, for like a week, and then never again. Oh, uh, loud noises. Why, why are the like, why is this sound effect so loud? <laughs> and also used so often throughout the course of this game. Did I watch your tasks? Did you task Seventh Saga? <laughs> My answer is no, I did not.
BOGO. I can't run. You walk really slow in this game. I should play the GBA version of Final Fantasy VI, because that has a running option. Actually, I think the last time I played this was this this game, like story mode wise, was the GBA version. Because I think it has a, a running mechanic. Crown Jewel, Seven Saga. Is it less than 10 minutes? I'll only watch it if it's less than 10 minutes. Are you okay? Lena, are you okay? Are you okay, Lena? Lena, are you okay? The grinding section is only 15 minutes. All right, his name is Bartz. And the city, huh? I think. Bartz? Or is it with a Z? All right, good enough. Complex things like pick up a bowl, run towards a wall, and fall through the floor. Hmm. I'll probably never play either game unless randomly we do SNES Mania, which will never happen. It's coming from over here. I need this phoenix down. Dan, 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 dan. Where am I? Who am I? What am I? Oh. That sounds very tedious. This, like, helpless lady and amnesiac old man are like, we have to go save the world. Bart's is like, that sounds pretty boring. I'm gonna go on my own adventure. Saving the world? Who does that stuff? Bars ain't got time for that. <laughs> so I ain't babysitting you two. I gotta ride my motorcycle into the wind and into the sunset. Go, go, go. I tried. There we go. Go, go, go. Is this the opening scene from Dragon Warrior 3? We get a personality based on how you react to the situation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that is that an option in that game? 
I was learning the speed run of like a year ago. I own, I mean, I have that game. We can pop it in right now. Uh, I was learning the speed run of that. I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> Tonic's video, he goes into this like whole spiel on all the different choices and everything. But he never once mentioned I could just leave. Because that's definitely me. <laughs> the number of times I've done that in like PC games. But they're like, you have to save our village. And I'm like, that's great. I like stabbed the person saying that. I have to save a village now. There's nobody left to save. Because I just killed you. <laughs> I'll never forget my experience with, uh... Now I can't remember the name of the game. <laughs> There was some PC game that was, like, really famous. The first game was really famous and the rest of the series nobody cared about. But, like, it had some famous line in it and all this other stuff. And somebody, like, made me play it. Like, they bought the whole series for me to play it. The very first thing I did was kill the first guy that started talking to me. He was just talking for, like, an hour. So, like, in the middle of his conversation, I just stabbed him. Walked out of town. <laughs> and just headed off in a random direction. And, like... Everybody in my chat was really mad because, like, I ended up in some area that was, like, halfway through the game. And, like, I had skipped all the story. <laughs> and I got, I went straight to the part where the game gets, like, scary and weird. And I was like, oh, this isn't too bad. <laughs> I skipped all the boring part. <laughs> oh, what was the name of the village? It's like shadow or something like that should. I remember trying to enter some town after like in between stabbing that guy and going somewhere else. Everybody in the town was mad. I was like hostile. I think it was stalker, maybe. I think that was the name of the game. In the first, like, 30 minutes, I got to some, like, really famous part of the game where you're trying to inspect this, like, uh, panel to, like, put in a code, and there's, like, poltergeists everywhere. And instead of being scared, of course, I'm just, like, yelling at the poltergeist because it keeps knocking me out of, like, trying to put in the code. And I was trying to put in the tune to Funky Town. Goodbye, butter. That was a good experience. Maybe. I think that was it. Whatever the first one is. I own three of them. I never played the other two. The person that made, made me play the first game and like bought the series for me, like left after that one stream. <laughs> they were so pissed off at my gameplay style. I was like, look, this is, you don't know me very well. <laughs> Obviously, this is how I play these kind of games. Like, you're not doing it right. I was like, I don't know what to tell you. This is my adventure. You wanted to see me play this game, and I'm playing this game exactly how I would play this game. You've come to expect disappointment. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Rudix? Is that the URL? Twitch.tv slash I ate your pie. Is that the one? <laughs> There's nothing but disappointment at that the second URL. The first URL, twitch.tv slash Rudix. Best stream ever. <clears throat> Just a whole lot of me being really upset at the vi whatever video game I'm being forced to play. 
I'm being held here against my will. Yo, is that a crab? Dero? I can't wait to experience all the Final Fantasy enemies that I haven't seen since Final Fantasy 3 or 4. I don't remember the last Final Fantasy we played before Mystic Quest. <laughs> I guess it was after years. Random encounters are weird. Ooh, Stroper. I fought these things in Final Fantasy XI for like a million years. They were, uh... can't remember if they were the Marlboro-looking ones or the, um... Flan-type creatures. I think they were the Marlboro ones. There's a lot in that cave. These spend one million years in there. Final Fantasy XI got an update with a bunch of new story today. I'm trying to figure out when I want to actually play that. Maybe I'll do that on like Thursday, Wednesday. Yeah, they added new story. <laughs> a whole I don't know I don't know how much story it is, but um. It's the beginning of a new expansion, basically. Yeah. It's... It's a new... thing, but it's being tagged on to... It's a, like it's a new thing, but it's tagged on to Rhapsodies of Vanity L. So you have to have beaten Rhapsodies to do the new thing. Yeah, I don't know if I can wait that long, because I'm going to get... Well, I guess it's only like four or five days away. I was going to say, I'm going to get spoiled, and I really don't want to be spoiled. Yeah, because somebody in my Discord mentioned the free login thing as well. that ship like I'm hoping so they they tagged on to change the Promethea once like a million years ago and it was not a very large amount of stuff and uh, I'm really hoping that this is like an actual like thing and not like where they tagged on to Seekers of Adulin with like a little bit of whatever like, I hope it's an actual, like, it feels like a new expansion kind of thing. I'm expecting disappointment. But we'll find out in the next few days. When is the 7th? That's, like, this weekend. Maybe I'll do it this weekend. I have to finish my Final Fantasy Tactics randomizer. We're to steal their ship. I'm here to commandeer your vessel. I don't think I can actually do this because he's asleep. Yep. I think that in that update, like next week, for um, Final Fantasy 14, Commodore Rudy, at your service. I think my subscription to 14 will be dead by then. Oh, I don't normally... I'm not a big fan of... Um, hacks outside of... Either 
translation hacks or randomizers. I don't like fanfic hacks and uh, difficulty balance patches or whatever. Not a fan of those. Why, Lena, why, we go through this every time I play this game. Why would you tell a bunch of pirates that you're the princess? We're gonna get kidnapped and then ransomed off so fast. You've got to be the dumbest person, Lena. Yo, thank you, Adam. Enjoy lurking. And wherever you're going. We're not searching the compound anymore, Nightbot. Well, Lena, you got us all kidnapped. I'm surprised. <laughs> Galoof. What a big galoof. Why would the princess of Tycoon have the same pendant as me? Good question, Ferris. Let's go to the wind shrine and find out. Tie the ropes. Throw them overboard. Bart instantly stabs everyone. Gotta start thinking about our win, win crystal jobs. I'm gonna make everyone a white mage. That sounds horrible. <laughs> gonna make everyone a uh, freelancer. How's it going, Sea Walker? It's going good here. Just a little bit yawny. Yeah, just kidding. We finished um, Mystic Quest and have started our Final Fantasy V adventure. I'm not actually a fan of Final Fantasy V, like I don't like the base game, but I love the randomizer for Final Fantasy V. It's definitely really good. Yes. Two Point Hospital. Oh really? I don't know what that is. Yo! I love Breath of Fire, 2, 3, and 4, and hate 1 and 5. <laughs> Good story. 
Greetings, Ice Plug Stream. Uh, three is the one with the horrible desert. Four is the one with the plains that are just as bad. Yo, thank you, Ice Plug. I'm sad you missed uh, Doom Castle. <laughs> Yo, thank you for both the host and the raid. Yeah, you missed, uh... Oh, you didn't do that. You're welcome. <laughs> In any case... We had a very exciting final boss fight for that game. I like watching, well, I like Breath of Fire 3, but I also like Breath of Fire 4 about a million more times. And every time, every single time I play Breath of Fire 3, all I can think is about how much I wish I was playing Breath of Fire 4. And it's horrible. Uh, first things first. Put you right there and you right there. Oh, my note card fell. Hope that one was important. Change battle speed. All right. Uh, yeah, about 30 minutes ago, I finished it. It was an exciting final boss fight. I accidentally cured it in the phase before you're supposed to cure it, so I just basically healed it back full. <laughs> so I essentially fought the boss twice, and still never did cure strats. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. No Doom Castle. I had pretty good music. And I think when I entered it, I said, it's too bad Ice Plug's not here. To sour please up the chat. And nobody sour please. Nobody. I was very disappointed. Oh no. You are here in our hearts though. I have to gain like a level or two. Lucky didn't want to steal a thunder. Lucky and I played 20 questions. How was your stream? I didn't see you online when I first started streaming. But I don't know that I actually checked my online list. I had a very busy afternoon, or morning, evening, my day's all messed up. I don't know what time it is anymore. I got like an hour of sleep earlier. It was great. Either way, welcome. Final Fantasy V. I need to get to like level four, I think. And I don't know what level I am now. Currently, oh, we're level four. Feels like it's 3 a.m. I can feel that. Kirk Hughes been having a good sleep too. I haven't saved any of my VODs for like the last two weeks, and some of them are about to expire. So I had to go through every VOD from like the last two weeks, save all the important ones. That took like an hour and a half. So I have a lot of VODs. Sacred Power.
Here, let's override Butter. Goodbye, Butter. Aw. I wonder if this is my playthrough where I made Galoof a white mage and had to fight, uh, what's his face? For like two hours, because Galoof was only hitting him for one damage. <laughs> that was a good battle. Can't see the invisible walls. This is weird. Broadsword, eh? Let's give that to you. You already have a broadsword. You have a knife. And you have nothing. Now you have a knife. Now we fight our first boss. It's Wing Raptor! Do one more volley, and then we have to heal ourselves. Because it does that thing the Final Fantasy bosses do. Where it protects its face. Attack when his tail's up. When did they start doing this? Final Fantasy IV maybe had the first one of these bosses, I think. I haven't seen these enemies in, like, years. Well, yes. But other Final Fantasies did that. Um, like, Mystic Quest... Technically, Pazuzu does that. Um, I don't remember any bosses in three doing that. I'm going through them all. Three, uh, I think four was actually the one, the first one to have like actual mechanics for bosses. And I don't remember eight having a boss like that. Nine, ten. 11, technically. 12. I think every all of them, but like from like 4 to 14, with the exception of 8, I think I'll have a boss like that. Not Maybe not the first boss, but a boss that had the uh, don't attack when its tail is up kind of thing. We'll keep track of it. Number of counterattack related bosses. What are we, we'll call them don't. Number of attack when it's tail attack bosses. Because counterattack bosses are different. Because, like, Galura in this game will counterattack you, but. That's just. It counterattacking you. <laughs> it's not like a specific mechanic where you don't attack it during a certain phase.
So this game has a lot of like behind the scenes lore. But I wish I knew where it all came from. <laughs> but every time I look up stuff on this game, it's like, oh yeah, there was like 10,000 years ago. It has like the origin of the void and like all this other stuff. And I'm like, where did all this information come from? <laughs> Is there an Ultimania for this game? Pieces of the crystal. All right, what jobs are we going to make, everybody? Lena is a knight, black belt. Uh, the next person will be blue mage thief. Black mage, white mage. Well, that's all of them. We have no more characters. Yes. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. Do you ever think about the fact that the crystals, the shrine for the crystal has all these roots coming out of it? Is that because Eggstaff is leaking into the world? <gasps> or was it like that originally? Are they just vines? All right, Lena, you're now a... Knight. Yes. Bart, you're gonna be my blue mage. Ferris can be our white mage. Make our black mage for now. And glue also gets to be... I'm tempted to make him a knight. Actually, we're going to make you a black mage, too. For now. Could be a flattened Marlboro. <laughs> white mage strats. Oh, my God. I had white mage for a four-job fiesta a couple years ago. You have to, like, grind to ten. And then, like... Attack things one at a time with a flail. <laughs> it's very boring. I do not need an explanation. I've already changed jobs. Excuse me. Did I get a free heal? I did. Hello, welcome to Tool. Goodbye, Ferris. Oh god, you walk really slow. Just put a thief in my group just to have Dash. Hello, I'm Beginners. Ah! Oh. Wrong one. <laughs> ah! Oh. Will I learn Goblin Punch? No. Probably should learn Goblin Punch. Leather Shoes. Skills does Blue Mage get? Blue Magic. You have to actually learn them, though. I can't remember if you learn them by... Here, hold on. Just fighting something, or if they have to be used on you? I think you have to... I think they, the character has to actually use it. Unless you have learning, maybe? Not 100% sure. I'd like to buy Bolt. And Cure. 
I guess Ant thought. Uh, one of these, that one. Hello. Hello, sir. Trying to buy stuff. Uh... Pretty sure it doesn't matter, actually, to be honest. You don't really get anything until, like... Later. Socks house. We should watch Legends of the Crystals after this. I should also throw it up on stream. So they actually made an anime for this game, believe it or not. Uh, Final Fantasy has had books and, and um, anime and all that other stuff for like forever. It's called Legend of the Crystals. It's based a thousand years after this one, I believe. Uh, so Blue Mage spells are like White Wind, um, Goblin Punch, uh, Thousand Needles, except it's called Blowfish in this. Mighty Guard. Uh, there's like a Brain Suck or something like that. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Some kind of paralyze. The anime is actually, uh, it's not bad. Like, it's got some really hilarious, like, moments to it that are just like, what? <laughs> like, they put the main character, they put the wind crystal into her butt. Not like, <laughs> into her butt but like it like glows and then goes inside of her and so her butt glows like the whole time <laughs> i don't know how else put it that's sounding really lewd and weird but there's moments like that that are just like <laughs> what what is this it's actually not lewd but it is like just goofy japanese style humor uh from the 90s Um, but it's, I mean, overall, it's a pretty good movie. <laughs> I have a response for this. <laughs> I think I spelled this right. Oh, here we go. Father. I'll protect the crystals. Me. Back to music. Uh, 
The pirates stayed in this town. This town became full of ruffians and hoodlums. I got really confused for a moment because like the area to the left <laughs> was missing. Frozen and coldness, that didn't sound too bad. Barts, don't do it, man. <laughs> Barts, nobody's watching the castle. You should go pillage it. Just take over. <laughs> You're in charge now. I have the key. Why do you have the key? Well, what does it matter? I have the key. Who cares? I love Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. I have that game right there. Right there. Right. Right here. I love Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. The CD feels like it's moving around. No, it's not. It's just the book. Where are all these encounters coming from?
Uh, I'd say they really hit or miss for me. I mean, I like I liked Evolution. I liked. Oh no, she's dead. <laughs> I liked Evolution. I liked um, Azure Dreams. I like Chocobo Dungeon. I'm dead. Both inside and outside. Ooh. Yeah, I can't think of, like, other than those specific ones. I don't have any other that is, I've played that I liked. Can't believe Lena's dad. Ten Gil. What a steal. Have healing class, so uh, potions it is. Oops. Oh, you know what I should do? We'll do it after this. Korean. I do need to level somebody as a thief. I think I'll make a loof a thief for a little while. Because I need to steal stuff. Like high potions. When I get to Mount Colts. It's the wrong game. I will say, one of the things about Mystery Dungeon games, the ones that I do like, I like because of the characters and not because of the gameplay. Or like the story, I guess. Mystic Quest is dead. I saved everyone, and now they're all dead. I'm being sucked in. Oh no! Now we defeated the Dark King. I actually finished it in nine hours, eight minutes and 42 seconds or so. It was a good ending. Lucky I played 20 questions, except I was trying to figure out what he was thinking of. It did not work out as well as I feel like it could have. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a trick.
like he's trying to play 20 questions the second time. <laughs> was it a school? Was it a PlayStation game? <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> I got tricked, okay? I tricked myself. See, apparently Twisted Metal was on PC. No, Sildra, I wasn't paying attention. I missed the quick time event to save them. Oh, uh, Silter's dead. And so is my party. Here we are, drifting through the ocean, straight into the boat graveyard. Dang. I was just reminded of the fact that the music in this game is nowhere near as good as the music in... Um... Final Fantasy VI. How? I need to run from every encounter. I've already committed to this one, so we're gonna keep going. I need to actually run from every encounter here until I get to a certain point. A more efficient leveling. Blackie actually told you. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe this. Was that co coercion? Something? I'll never forgive. <laughs> Apparently Steffi's middle name is P. <laughs> Somebody I follow on... Uh, Twitter. Uses that emote a lot. Oh, nobody can actually equip the flail. Can you equip the flail? Well, we'll hold on to it. All right. Do I pick up the map? <laughs> no. Don't you dare pick up the map. It will follow me to the ends of the earth. Can't all get wet. Lynn is barely wearing any clothes to begin with. Ooh, I'll fight this encounter.
I just think it's funny that the map just like hauntingly follows you <laughs> until you pick it up. You're like walking through the void and like the map's still showing up. You're like, no, get out of here. I keep getting single skeleton fights. I'll fight single skeletons. <laughs> you can't trust Blackie. He's a cheater. It's always the people you suspect the least. Because they're so outgoing about things like stopping other people from cheating. Sefi's like, no cheating. I'm not Sefi, uh, Lucky, wait, who did I say? Lucky's anti-cheating. And then he cheats himself. Thinking we wouldn't know. <laughs> Is it Shantae? <laughs> Start a fire in the middle of this boat. Chill down time, Playboy. As a resistance. What's going on? Paris says, a lady. And? What's wrong with that? <laughs> She's still soaked. But Ferris, <laughs> you're still all wet. Does it involve Lego? Ferris is Ferris. Thank you, Barts. I forgot if you can do a thing here. Oops. Uh, yes. I don't know. There is a room down here, maybe. Oops. Three treasure chests. This is the room we grind in. Who's ready for a grinding adventure? What is everyone's favorite Lego game? IGM Game Scoop. Is IGN still around? Hey. 
Who knows what IGN, without looking it up, who knows what IGN stands for? What was IGN's original name? International Gaming Network is wrong. Imagine Games Network is correct. Way back in the day, they had a lot of cool features on the website, like game trading and stuff like that. Uh, you could have an IGN mail account. They had a lot of neat things on there. Way back in the earlier days. Lego Star Wars. <laughs> I've never seen the movies, so maybe that's how I should witness the movies. This Lego format. I then have to guess what the story is. Are right, we leveling to 10, I think? Somewhere, uh, thief's damage goes down. I might be level nine. <laughs> Just like Mystic Quest. Since everybody else's damage will go up, I guess I won't really worry about it. Dagger damage is like weird and how it's calculated. But I already couldn't, I can't remember actual calculations for stuff in this game. I think that's level seven. Everyone but Heck and Lena died at one time. I'll be okay to just go to eight or nine, but it'd be more efficient, I think, to go to ten here. But later on, it'd be better because I can steal high potions and Lamia stuff. Lamia stuff? Maiden kisses. I forgot what you steal in the mountains. Pretty sure it's high potions. 10 is a rounder number than nine. Are you sure about that? Because the left side of 10 is very straight and not at all round. Whereas 9 is round all the way around. Monk from the show Monk Loves 10. That's your response. Mm -hmm. All right, hear me out. I have no idea what you're talking about. We're beating up Galoof. 
who's eventually going to be our healer? I think Ferris. Wait, where level are we? I may actually just stop at eight. I think it'll be better to do my grinding on the mountain because uh, I won't have a free heal, but I will have high potions, which are kind of free. Was Blue Mage in any game before this one? I don't remember Final Fantasy 3 having any sort of like blue magic. Our first experience with blue magic here today. Somebody was dying. You're dying and you're dying. Ow, my eardrums. Ooh, potion. Doesn't have anything, I see. Level eight. Everybody little Lena leveled up to eight. Am I going the right way? Ooh. Wait. Oh, you know what? Uh, um, we have to rest the second time. I didn't think this through. Through passages. Oh, now we walk slow. Yo, comrade, how's it going? I'm in the middle of our first Final Fantasy V adventure of today. Our first and only. Hmm. I know how that goes. I need to go back to bed. Dang. Well, hopefully you had a good good weekend, at least. Excellent. Uh oh. Oh god. I'm being attacked from the back. It's a back attack. Got a bad feeling about this.
Me too. Uh-oh. Stella. I'm trapped on top of my headphones. I'm on traps. I'm safe. That was scary. Father. Also father. Holy cow, who's that? Grandpa. He ain't that old. No, they're souls. Oh my god, Glyph. Jump kicker. They've all awakened. Uh, Black Desert Online style. This game has a lot of foreshadowing. Hmm. That's not good. Do I need any blue magic yet? Nope. Alright, well, here we go. Ooh, level seven. Oh, well, I had learned fire and or cure. All right, I can feel it. Here we go. All right, deal damage. Hmm. Nice damage. Ooh, good thing I healed. Bear hug. Uh -oh. Easy every time. Bronze shield, nice. Hold on. There's two Lennas on screen. Oh no. Mm. 
Run away, run away. I forgot if you can actually just like go to the mountain instead of doing all this. <laughs> Are you the Scarab Lord? You got outrolled by five. <laughs> Dang. Bart's during your no. All right, there's an item up there. I get that guy to leave. Ice rod. I wonder what it's like to be Scarab Lord. I done that full quest line on retail back during Wrath of Lich King, I think it was. Or it might have been Burning Crusade. But by that point, it didn't matter. By yeah. Ten Gale, what a deal. Somebody was talking about Breath Fire earlier. Now I, all I can think about is playing Breath Fire 4. It's a curse. Somebody mentions a video game. Occasionally it's one I like. And then that's all I want to do is play that one video game. Um, I thought this town was South Figaro from Final Fantasy VI. It is not. Oh, uh, I'll fight you. You're in the back row.
I meant to buy some antidotes. And so we're definitely going to get poisoned. Probably more than once. Take your finest 11 antidotes. I don't really want to fight these guys. I don't know why I'm here. Why don't I just escape? Nice. <laughs> I see we're free. Uh of <laughs> Are we truly free? Oh wait, I was trying to steal. I didn't mean to fight you. Unless you mean free as in I'm not really doing anything. In which case, yeah, I'm not really doing anything. <clears throat> Are you free? Did you want to go, you know... Golden Corral? It's me checking my watch. I'll have a watch. Go to a baseball game? Hmm... In this economy... <laughs> Cat check. These are not the enemies I want to fight. I keep missing and stuff. Phoenix down. Uh, why do you think they call them Phoenix Downs? What is the origin of that? I mean, I understand the Phoenix part. They just call them Phoenix? Phoenix Awaken? Revive. Why are they called Phoenix Downs? Why is the revive item in this game? It's part of a bird's tail feather. Oh, I see. So it's like a phoenix's feather. Okay, that makes sense. That's why it's a feather. <laughs> I see. Thank you. I've gained knowledge that I will 100% forget by the time we get out of this game. But that's okay. <laughs> Just remember... Down feller pillows. What? I've never bought a pillow my whole life. I was given a pillow like 30 years ago, and I'm still using the same grotesque pillow <laughs> from like 30 years ago. 
It's now wrapped in like four sheets around it. <laughs> no, this one's shaped in my head. It has evolved over the years to be even more shaped in my head. Why would I replace it? It's the ultimate pillow. It knows my face better than I know my own face. New pillow every year? See, I can't do that. It's like shoes. I... One of my pairs of shoes, I had, I, were given to me my freshman year of high school, um, and I still have them and go running in them, <laughs> my running shoes. Does he know learning? Oh, he does. Right, we're making, eh, we'll do that after this, actually. I forgot if it's the next screen or the screen I was just on. I want to grind on. It's a previous screen. <laughs> I just take really good care of my stuff. All right, we gotta get to level 11. Or 14, whichever comes first. Dang. I never changed. I'm exactly the same my entire life. Massive guns. I see. I've yet to have that problem, but one day, maybe. I look forward to it. Why are we fighting blocks? Glyph, when are you going to learn how to steal? Shredded around the neck. Do you do this a lot? I had a friend that did that. All the shirts were like, I can stretch from right there. Oops. I don't know if I still have any shirts. Shirts I replace all the time. Um. Pants I replace all the time. Shoes. When I when I worked in a restaurant, I used to have to replace my work shoes a lot, like once a month. Uh. Can't think of anything. I mean, I I buy new socks like all the time. But my pillow is a hundred years old. And those pair of shoes right there. My running shoes. From centuries past.
If only this music was as good as all the battle music from Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Galuffy have stolen like nothing. Now you learned escape. Oh, that's run. Oh yeah. You're gonna get to level 10, even though it doesn't make a difference. Maybe level 11. Then we're gonna make everybody Dark Knights. It's not this game. Then we're gonna make everybody uh, better than they were. 12 years old. 2008. What a year. Definitely don't remember it. Me too. I miss any year that wasn't the past five years. Dang. Well, that's good to hear. I don't remember. <laughs> Is that the reason why it's the best year? I remember 2009. I think that was my first convention year. <laughs> Those shoes change your life. What's the, what's everybody's like oldest uh, material object that they own that like they got new? Not like a family heirloom, like something you got new. What is the oldest bought brand new material object that you own? I mean, I would think, I don't know, still own my NES, but I might still, I don't know if the copy I have of Adventures of Link is my original one. Maybe not necessarily you bought, but like something that you were either given new or not like, oh, I have this plate, plate from like ancient Egypt kind of thing. <laughs> Something you received new in your life, whether you bought it or otherwise. <laughs> so much for your satisfaction. What the heck? Yeah, I'm thinking NES cartridge. I don't know if I still own any of my Atari stuff. It's like, maybe... Gosh, I don't know. This is a tough question. Who asked this? You're not allowed in here anymore. 
Dang. 34 years old. Like, I have a box of stuff from, like, forever ago. But oh, So, during the Great Purge of 2012, I got rid of a lot of my stuff. Uh, anything from, like, video games to yearbooks to just, like, family heirlooms. <laughs> I got rid of all of it. I do have this dinosaur cup. All right, this might be the oldest thing I own. Hold on. I have this dinosaur cup. From when I was a kid, got dinosaurs on it, whatever. That might be... I'd say that has the highest contender of being the oldest thing I own. Like, I drank out of that cup when I was, like, probably five or six or something. have a pencil <laughs> from when I was a kid that has Mario sliding down a flagpole I don't know how old that is yeah like I definitely don't any own any of my old like stuff I would have had as a baby but stuff I had when I was like maybe five or six I'd probably still own I definitely don't still have, like, old stuffed animals or anything. We actually put those in a box in my mom's attic that I gave that box to my nieces and nephews. They were really young. Actually, I have a Sonic the Hedgehog plushie, but I think I was like 10 when I got that. I know a lot of my old, like, toys and stuff. I gave, uh, like I said, we put it in a box. I gave it to my nieces and nephews. It sat in my mom's attic for, like, 20 years. So outside of HP, I don't think I actually gain anything at level 10. Um, so I'm kind of tempted to go all the way to 11, but that seems like a pain, but I'm going to end up having to level to 11 before Galura anyways, so may as well just do it here. I think the White Mage um, playthrough of this levels to 14 here, <laughs> something ridiculous. A penny from 1977. <laughs> All right, maybe I should say like not money because I'm I've got old like money somewhere. I have a silver dollar, I think it is, or a uh, half dollar that's like from 18 something. <laughs> But I have no idea where it is. It's somewhere in one of these two rooms. <laughs> I'm not gonna say how much it's worth. It's worth a lot though. But it's somewhere in these two rooms. I have no idea where.
<laughs> I don't remember the last time I had cash on me. To, like, receive new cash. Yeah, like I know I should, but I don't. Where I used to live, um, no, nobody used cash. Wait, the restaurant I worked for, um. We would make, like, m at most, maybe, for, like, $50, $75 a day in cash, and then everything else is credit card. I just got in the habit of never carrying cash. Well, like, the thing, the thing was, like, I mean, the area was not known for robberies or whatever. But everybody's logic was, well, if you get robbed, you don't lose any cash. <laughs> that was a lot of people's, like, uh, mindset. And like I said, there was no, our crime rate there was, like, nothing. <laughs> Is that mindset? People have had that mindset for, like, dozens of years now there. People would always ask why I never washed my car and stuff like that. I was like, if you got a dingy look up, like, dingy looking car with, like, crap everywhere, <laughs> and you're parked next to, like, somebody with a decent car or nice car, who do you think they're gonna rob first? They're gonna check my door to see if it's unlocked. Go, oh, nope, not unlocked. Probably don't have anything in here anyways. <laughs> I had a, um, my stereo was one of those that you take the plate off and you can put another plate over it. Uh, the facing of it or whatever, like you could take it off and put a thing over it so that it just looked like a normal part of the dashboard. <laughs> it looked like the car didn't even have a radio. Good times. Life stories with Rudix. Am I level 11 yet? I feel like I've been here forever. Nope, level 10. Um, probably not the one you're familiar with. I do have a white car. It's technically white. Actually, technically right now, it's so covered in, like, pollen and just tree dust that it looks yellow. Since I never drive it, it just, like, sits there. It's got, like, a million spiders hanging off of it. You would think it was abandoned. Maybe I'll actually wash it this week. Probably not gonna happen. I just never go anywhere. There's no reason to. Some kind of pandemic going on.
What will we all think of 2020, five years from now? Will we say the same thing that I have to say about five years ago? I don't remember five years ago. What was 2015? What was I even doing? Did I go... Actually, we can find out. I think that was the year after I got my phone. I never delete anything off my phone. If I can help it. Let's see what 2015 was like in the photos of my phone. I'll share. I've already been here for like 20 minutes. Uh, battle? All right. Oh, I took a lot of pictures in 2015. Was that the year I went to the beach? All right. I dressed up as Celsius at MAGFest that year. Going through AGDQ. Who are these people? <laughs> oh, hey, that's Flicky. That's <laughs> Me rename I Ate Your Pie? 2015 is now the McLaren photos. I don't know if you guys can see this at all. Picture of me and rename, and we're getting a selfie with. Somebody getting a selfie of I Ate Your Pie? I haven't talked to that. I probably haven't even talked to that guy since like 2015. <clears throat> no, not Celsius the air chef. Let me see if I have a photo. Oh my god, it's Oxwas in a maid outfit with Cypher. <laughs> probably can't make that out either. It's me, Cypher, and Oxwas. Oh, that was the stand. That was the stand with Rom's a year. Yeah, because, like, here's Golden and me dresses Ramza, and Claude in the background. Me dresses Ramza again. Uh, <laughs> me putting my tongue in Dick Oak's ear. Who are these people? Ox was playing probably age games <laughs> and the GDQ practice room. <laughs> Classic 2015. It's good to look back at 2015 and be able to smile. I'm like look, looking back at 2020. <laughs> Not. What is this room? I don't, there's some sort of like... Oh, is this the schedule? Oh, it didn't turn sideways very well. There's like a schedule. We're still not level 11. There's me playing Final Fantasy Tactics. No, that was Claude playing Final Fantasy Tactics. So, here's some trivia. There's Here's a photo of me with Rename, and Rename fell asleep. That, the silhouette of Rename falling asleep is the silhouette I use for Speedrun Theater for Rename. <laughs> so if you ever watch Speedrun Theater, and you look at Rename's silhouette, it's him asleep watching Final Fantasy Tactics.
<laughs> Me sitting in Oxus's lap. Who's wearing still wearing a maid outfit. Did he wear that the whole time? <laughs> Me not wearing a shirt. RPG shouldn't be allowed on AGDQ. So boring. A three hour speed run? I'd rather watch the Kardashians. No coffee pasta reno. <laughs> The heck? I don't know where this is. Or who these people are. Apparently, I remember going out for Korean barbecue. Oh, wait, I know this guy. I forgot his name, though. Went to Korean barbecue. Are we level 11 yet? Ice Plug, what was the first GDQ you went to? 2013? <laughs> oh, hey, this is not going to show up. I give up. 2013? I think my first was... A GDQ 2013, maybe? Or 2014? There's Barhanga. I haven't seen that guy in like a million years. And Adam AK. Man, I haven't seen those guys probably since 2015. I feel like most of the the normal European guys stopped going that year. After that year. Me playing Rhapsody at MAGFest. Oh my god. Alright, so here's... Uh, you can't even really see. <laughs> this is the blurriest photo of all time. Gonna zoom in anyways. It's like the, the blurriest thing ever. I don't know if you guys can make sense of that at all. It's actually from the Final Fantasy V anime. <laughs> it's What's-Her-Face's glowing butt. At MAGFest. That year... They were playing the Final Fantasy V anime on a TV that was, like, the size of my phone. <laughs> like, I, you can't really tell how big the TV is, but there's more of the, the Final Fantasy V anime. It was probably, like, literally the size of my phone. <laughs> there was, like, a crowd of people all standing around it trying to watch it. There's me dressed as Celsius. Not the airplane. <laughs> Do you really? I was talking about it earlier. I was like, yeah, they put a crystal in her butt, but not like in her butt. <laughs> it's just there in her butt. Never mind. <laughs> Good anime. Oh, that was the year I gave Blucky a copy of Magnetic by Nature. There's a guy falling asleep playing Sonic 2. <laughs> Nothing really interesting. And MAGFest. Alright, well, the rest of the year is just pictures of, of Claire. Oh, wait, no, here's when I was in that movie. And me with my stunt double. <laughs> my stunt double was a, uh, a dummy. Wow, 2015 was a good year. <laughs> Let's go back to that year. Are we level 11 yet? No.
Honey Nut Warriors. <laughs> That's a warrior from Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> oh my god. This is the year... Oh my god. 2015 was the year I started working on that Prish um, papercraft that I've still never finished. This is also the year that Blecky asked me uh, about my pull-up bar. Because <laughs> here's a bunch of photos of my pull-up bar. That was also the year that I took Claire out into the snow. Claire in the snow. She was not very happy about that. There's an achievement called Cat Attack. It says, is that backwards or forwards? Oh, it's forwards. It says it's a cute way to die. <laughs> what an achievement. This is the year I finally figured out how to make the mime mask. That was also the year of the dress. Y'all remember the dress? So, here's, here's a photo of the dress. And I convinced one of my friends that it was red. And I was like, well, what color is it? I was like, they're like, what, you, what dress are you talking about? I was like, this dress. I was like, the blue and white one. And they're like, that one's red and, oh my God. That one's red and black. I was like, no, it's blue and white. <laughs> it was, I say friends, it was Susie. Who remembers Susie? <laughs> From all the good Susie stories. <laughs> you missed the dress thing. Dang. What is this? What convention was this? Where the heck was I? It was in February. Wait, was this the year I was at the conventions for a straight month? That was the year, 2015 was the year that I went to the entire month of January, except for two days, I was at conventions. Yeah, the dress thing is five years old. Yo, it's Fernando's Taco Inn. Was that the year we... The heck? That was the year we discovered Fernando's Taco Inn? <laughs> More pictures of Claire. Oh, that was the year I got... Um, I played, played Princess Crown and bought Princess Crown stuff. What is this? Oh, these are my Rhapsody notes. Are they? Wait. Sing boat song. Go to shop. Is this my Lunar notes? Gate by Magic Institute. Yeah, this has got to be my Lunar notes. My, <laughs> my notes for Lunar for the PlayStation are on my cell phone in photo format. Are you level 11 yet? Hey, we're level 11, finally. I can continue the game. <laughs> Oops, I didn't really mean to uh, heal. Ugh. We can finally leave 2015. Here's my, my uh, Wild Arms notes. Just consisted of three things. It says, we well, can't really read it. It says 54 EXP, then it says 48 HP Rudy, and 27 HP Cecilia. Those were my wild arms totes. 
Good notes. <laughs> Bunch of photos of Claire in a box. Oh. Oh my God. 2015 was also the year I, I cosplayed Yuri Kuma. <laughs> Oh, man. I missed 2015. Five years ago. That's also the year I got married to myself. Still happily married to myself. Nothing's changed. I have all my wedding photos here. sign that just says I love this sign I don't know if you can read it it says stripper or wax on the floor do not cross rope Lena was poisoned and never heard of again oh I forgot to change everybody to black mages that's fine What else did I cosplay? Oh, this was that year I found the mutant moth. You ever see one of these? Is apparently really lucky to see one of these. And I saw three of these one year. I, well, on three different months. And this one, this one was laying eggs on my tire. Apparently the, the male version of these moths, I have a picture of one somewhere in here, I'm sure. Their wingspan is like, 10 inches or 12 inches or something like that. All right, we made it through March <laughs> of 2015 before I have to stop. We'll come back to 2015, 10 years from now. Thank you for letting me relive one of the greatest years ever. I might have to reset. Ow. No, I, I didn't steal any high potions. I never found the enemy that had high potions. Oh, dang, I went fast enough. Probably because I kept healing. She's dead. Now I have to fight Forza. Forza Motorsports. See a bolt does. Hmm. Ooh. Ow, dude.
Did we learn dash? I don't think there's any other fighting. Well, well, well. Here are you. What an awful wound. Nom nom nom. Lena. Lena. Eat this. Lena died for your medicine. All healed up. Me too, Barts. That's a uh, it's a pretty tall ladder. Alrighty. So what we're gonna do? I dropped a million frames. Well, if I ever come back, I'm just going to stop here. So I'm dropping frames horribly. All right, two, 13. Now, I've dropped 4,440 frames, so I'm just gonna stop it here. I'm probably still dropping frames. Nope. All right, well, thanks for watching.